talk about it. So today we're going to talk about shadow boxing, particularly 52 shadow boxing, right? Well, <clears throat> but we're going to start with the general. So in general, when you get shadow boxing, it's important to remember that you're fighting against an opponent, right? You got some resistance coming at you. So your hands should be where you would realistically have them in order to protect yourself. Your head should be moving, and your feet should be moving as well, right? Now, when you add the 52 dynamic in me, as you're moving, my blocks are moving, right? The head is getting out of the way. We got that 52 footwork. And then, using our counters, right? So if I move, boom, I hit. Bang, bang, bang. I'm hit, boom, boom. I'm moving, moving, moving. I want to make sure that I'm moving in a way that simulates me being under attack. Purpose of shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is like a carenza for boxers, right? It's where you get the flow, see how everything moves together, but also you get to simulate what you would do under pressure in order to refine your this, this skill set, right? So minister used to always say, if practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice makes perfect. So we want to practice perfectly whenever we're doing anything so that that way under pressure we execute with excellence. Shadow. 52 VTA. Like, comment, share, and I will see you on the other side. Harambe.